This is The Process Shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen Forgive Us Our Trespasses, a short new historical drama from director Ashley Eakin set in Germany during the Nazi regime. It follows a young boy named Peter who was born without one of his limbs. He is still entirely capable of living in society, but given the uh, purification efforts of the government, it isn't long before his existence comes to their attention. He makes a run for it, hiding out in a large barn, but the authorities are able to track him down. Eventually, he comes faced with a decision to either let them win or to fight back. It's also a decision that has to be made within the last few minutes of the short, because I've pretty much described the whole thing. Yeah, the story is pretty streamlined, focused for the most part on setting up Peter and his disability, then shifting to his escape from the Nazis without any major sense of build-up or foreshadowing. Characters do hint at things that could happen, but then they act surprised when those things do, in fact, happen. It doesn't help that the film's few characters are generally flat, with little in the way of changes or even personality, to the point that I'm pretty sure the only reason we're led to feel sympathy for Peter isn't so much for who he is as a person, but because of his disability. It is symbolic in a sense, as the story is based on events that occurred during the Third Reich, as stated in the film's ending, but it also feels like a bit of a cheat, as there are some pieces of actual development in here that are masked by the more basic appeal to emotion. That's not me trying to be uncaring, mind you. I would have just liked a bit more to care about than the surface-level theme. Anyways, the technical production in Forgive Us Our Trespasses does its part to give the movie some artistic design, though the results are a bit mixed. It's mostly in cinematography that the film excels here, with a clear contrast in stability before and after Peter is discovered by the Nazis as well as a good number of nice wide shots that showcase just how far and foreboding the journey ahead of him is going to be. Color choices are similarly muted and gray, though there are no stark differences within this, which just makes it seem like the movie exists in a dreary part of the country instead. Music is unmemorable fitting into the setting and situations cleanly, without offering anything unique to add or stand out in any greater fashion. Overall, despite the production value on display, the film doesn't put it to much use, focusing more on the simpler theme behind its events, rather than making a story that brings those ideas out and develops them even further. Forgive Us Our Trespasses, Ashley Eakin, 2022. Two and a half stars. I'd say that it's worth seeing, though not really for much more than the cinematography. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. Hopefully I didn't sound like I didn't like the movie because of its subject matter. It's just that without it, you wouldn't really have a movie in the first place. Know what I mean?